Hello my loves, welcome back to our channel. My name is Jen. As usual, we are here at the seashore with Nanai to get some sea urchins and seashells so that we could have free dinner for tonight. I guess not long from now you will be seeing my skin as dark as charcoal because I am always here in the morning and afternoon if there are low tides to get some seashells and sea urchins and swimming afterwards. But before I dive to get some seashells and sea urchins, we would like to give you another set of Australian values tests to help you pass your Australian citizenship test 100%. Ready? Let's start! Question number one. Australian laws apply to all people in Australia. Therefore, you must follow Australian laws regardless of your background or culture. Letter A, true. Letter B, false. The answer is letter A, true. Number two. What is the meaning of the rule of law in Australia? Letter A. All Australians are equal in relation to the law and no person or group is above the law. Letter B. Only Australian citizens should follow the law. Letter C. None of the above. The answer is letter A. All Australians are equal in relation to the law, and no person or group is above the law. Number 3. Australia's system of government is parliamentary democracy, and the power of the government comes from Letter A. Australian people Letter B. Government officials Letter C. Head of the state The answer is letter A. Australian people. Number 4. Voting in Australia is not compulsory. Letter A. True. Letter B. False. The answer is letter B. False. Number 5. When should we follow Australian laws? Letter A. At all times, even if no one is watching. Letter B. When driving on the roads with speed cameras. Letter C. When the police officers are watching. The answer is letter A at all times, even if no one is watching. Number 6. What is our commitment to the rule of law? Letter A. Everybody should obey the law and not break it at any time. Letter B. Only government officials will follow the law because they work for the government. Letter C. None of the above. The answer is letter A. Everybody should obey the law and not break it at any time. Number 7. People are free to say and write what they think about any topic, and to discuss their ideas with others is what kind of freedom? Letter A. Freedom of expression. Letter B. Freedom of association. Letter C. Freedom of religion. The answer is letter A. Freedom of expression. Number 8. It is a freedom wherein Australians can gather freely with others, including to protest against a government action or an organization. Letter A. Freedom of association. Letter B. Freedom of religion. Letter C. None of the above. The answer is letter A. Freedom of association. Number 9. What kind of protests are allowed in Australia? Letter A. All protests must be within the law and must be peaceful and must not injure any person or damage property. Letter B. All types of protests are allowed in Australia. Letter C. Protests are forbidden in Australia. The answer is letter A. All protests must be within the law and must be peaceful and must not injure any person or damage property. Number 10. Australia has no official religion and religious laws have no legal status in Australia. Therefore, religion in Australia is Letter A. Secular Letter B. Australia is bound by religion Letter C. Religion in Australia is the basis of the law. The answer is letter A. Secular Number 11. Polygamy of being married to more than one person at the same time is against the law in Australia, but may be allowed in some religious practices. If there are conflicts between religious laws and Australian laws, what law should prevail? Letter A. Australian laws. Letter B. Religious laws. Letter C. It depends on the crime. The answer is letter A. Australian laws. Number 12. Men and women have equal rights in Australia, 
and should be provided equality of opportunity to pursue their goals and interests. Therefore, it is a right for a woman to get a job ahead of a man if she has better qualifications and skills. Letter A, true. Letter B, false. The answer is letter A, true. Number 13. This means that a person should get a job based on their skills and experience, not because of their gender, wealth, or ethnicity. Letter A, fair go. Letter B, unfair go. Letter C, none of the above. The answer is letter A, fair go. Number 14. This means that what someone achieves in life should be a result of their hard work and talents. Letter A, fair go. Letter B, unfair go. Letter C, fair go. The answer is letter A, fair go. Number 15. This means that listening to others and respecting their views and opinions, even when they are different from your own. Letter A, mutual respect for others. Letter B, fair go. Letter C, none of the above. The answer is letter A, mutual respect for others. Number 16. If there are conflicts between each other's views and opinions, Australians believe to resolve conflicts with peaceful disagreement and above all the right to be safe and free from violence and intimidation. Letter A, true. Letter B, false. The answer is letter A, true. Number 17. It is an Australian spirit with a strong tradition of community service and volunteering to look out for each other and strengthen the community. Letter A, mateship. Letter B, friendship. Letter C, none of the above. The answer is letter A, made sheep. Number 18. How would you value English language, Australia's national language? Letter A. People living in Australia should make an effort to learn to understand and speak English because it helps to get an education, a job, and to better integrate into the community. Letter B. It is not necessary to learn English in Australia. Letter C. Never mingle in the community at all. The answer is letter A. People living in Australia should make an effort to learn to understand and speak English because it helps to get an education, a job, and better integrate into the community. Number 19. In Australia, we have responsibilities to protect Australian society. So if you suspect someone may be planning to commit a serious crime, you should report this to Australian government authorities as soon as possible to investigate. Letter A, true. Letter B, false. The answer is letter A, true. Number 20. During Australian citizenship ceremony, Australian citizens pledge their loyalty to Australia and its people. Letter A, true. Letter B, false. The answer is letter A, true. So, did you get perfect on your Australian values test for today? We hope that you will pass your Australian citizenship test 100%. Thank you so much for studying on our channel. You take care and I'm sending all my love to you. See you on our next video. Bye. Love you every second. No, look at this. It's not two. No? Huh? Let's bring this home. This is very yummy. Come on. Oh, there's a lot! What's this? Oh, yeah, it's very big sea urchin! Another sea urchin here! Let me see you, sea urchin! Oh, it's small, but it's okay. Stump a sea urchin! A good size sea urchin. The thorns of sea urchins are very itchy. It, it will get it on your mouth. Someday you can try this. Let's see if you like it. But for me, this is my favorite because it's really sweet. Oh, 